Hi, this is Marcia Jeans, Instructional Technology Specialist. In this video, I'm going to show you a neat little feature of Smart Notebook 10.0 called Print Capture. Print Capture is awesome for you if you have documents or PDFs um, that you would like to import in to Smart Notebook 10.0. Makes it really easy to do. So let me show you how it's done. I'm going to actually close this file and um, what I'm going to have, I have open now, is a PDF file that came with our reading series. So each teacher received a CD that had some support materials that go with the reading series. Well, this happens to be one of them. And there are six pages of PDFs about uh, writing checklists. I would like to easily take this and put it into a smart notebook file. Well, it's simple to do. You go up to File and you go to Print. And under the print menu, you'll have a selection of all your printers that are installed. You should look for something called Smart Notebook Print Capture. And you click on that and you hit OK. And what this, ha what this does is it opens up a brand new Smart Notebook file and each page of your PDF will create a new page in Smart Notebook. So notice now I have six pages that go along with what my PDF looked like. Pretty slick. The only thing that you'll notice is the text is not quite as clear. It does become a, a little bit pixelated. And notice this can be moved around. So if there's anything that you want to do to that, for example, um, one thing that I would suggest so it doesn't get wiggled around is locking it down. So I click on it and do Control K and that will lock that page down. It's pretty easy. Okay, let me show you. Also, you can do the same thing with a, let me close those out already. Um, this is a Word document. It works the same way. In this Word document, I have three pages. And if I want to export that into Smart Notebook, I go print. I'm going to pick from my menu here, Smart Notebook Print Capture. And give it a second. Here comes Notebook 10.0. Opens right up. And voila. Here we go. Now, one thing you notice, probably the quality isn't quite as good. Um, and in my Word document, these were links. This was an actual hyperlink. And now they are no longer a hyperlink. So keep kind of some of those things in mind. But notice the graphics came in. If I try to double click on this to do any editing, I cannot. It is like a graphic. It's not actually um, text that's editable. So for a lot of things, you might find this very useful. Um, for other things, it might be easier to go um, and just take screenshots of something or copy and paste. Hope you enjoy this feature, and thanks for watching.